If you're a dog owner, your furry friend probably loves getting into everything they aren't supposed to. This often results in some pretty messy situations, but potentially harmful ones as well. That mess might be unavoidable, but let's count down the 10 foods that will make your dog sick. You don't like it, you can kiss my furry little butt. Milk. I don't think I can stomach any more of this garbage. Many of the reasons listed against milk consumption for dogs are extremely similar to those listed against human milk consumption. The main culprit in both scenarios is a lactose intolerance. While most humans experience lactose intolerance to varying degrees, many will be surprised to know that their pup is probably going through similar symptoms. Everything from bloating to vomiting and diarrhea can be experienced. Downright flatly. Ooh, and the smell. While dairy products in general should typically be avoided, more solid treats such as cheese, yogurt, and ice cream can be easier for a dog to process than the pure milk itself. Although the canine and human bodies are so different in many ways, it is amazing how both bodies experience the same difficulties in processing milk. Don't forget that one of the most common side effects of lactose intolerance is actually a stomach ache. Although it may seem like an act of kindness, sharing milk with your dogs is actually making them physically ill and causing them unnecessary pain. So although a puppy may appear desperate for the leftover milk from a morning cereal bowl, as owners, it's best to avoid giving into those sad puppy eyes and instead provide an alternative treat for the world's most well-loved pet. Give me a milk. Chocolate. Cooked bones. Although the phrase, like a dog with a bone, has been around for decades, it's extremely important that a dog is never given cooked bones. This refers to bones of any kind, including chicken, pork, and beef bones. Although images of dogs with bones have filled cartoons for years, Pluto's bones must have been raw, as Mickey would have been putting his pooch at great risk if he was giving Pluto leftover dinner bones. When bones are cooked, they take on a different texture and consistency in comparison to raw bones. Cooked bones immediately become brittle and are able to crack into thousands of tiny pieces. If a dog is chewing on a cooked bone, choking is only one of the major concerns that an owner will have to watch for. Oh, he just yakking on a bone. He got it up. If shards of bone are digested, the entire digestive system is immediately put at risk. Sharp bone pieces can possibly cut along a dog's intestinal tract or even in the mouth, stomach, and throat. Raw bones are considered safe, but it is still important that you closely monitor the dog, only allow 10 to 15 minutes of bone play at a time, and ensure that the bone is suitable for the dog's size. It is crucial that large dogs are given suitably sized bones to prevent the risk of a choking incident. If the correct bone is provided, it can be one of the world's best treats and one of the most natural options for your furry friend. Throw me a frickin' bone here. Corn on the cob. Anything new with corn? Oh yeah, corn, oh, corn, corn. Oh, yeah, corn. You oh, corn. Oh, corn. While many of the listed items focus on toxicity as the main issue in terms of potential detriments to doggy health, corn on the cob has been added to the list for the physical threats that the actual cob itself can produce. Although corn is a staple ingredient in many dogs' foods and corn pieces can also be given to most canines without worry, the cob itself produces a few seriously dangerous situations for our canine allies. The first and most obvious threat would be the possibility of choking on the actual cob itself. To anyone who's watched their dog, especially a larger breed, quickly swallow down a whole sandwich in a bite or an entire bowl of dog food in a few gulps, the possibility of a cob choking hazard does not seem that far-fetched. Even more potentially dangerous, if the dog is actually able to swallow the cob or large pieces of it that have broken off, he or she will be at risk for an intestinal blockage. Since the cob itself does not break down with the same ease as the kernels, it poses a serious risk to clog anywhere along the digestional tract. Oh, I didn't have any corn! This can lead to much more serious health problems involving potential surgery for removal. The next time your dog is looking up at you with puppy dog eyes for a piece of that buttery corn at a backyard barbecue, try and throw him a piece of your burger instead. You'll both feel a lot happier about the decision. Get that corn out of my face! Avocado. I mean, I mean, you gotta see the way I eat an avocado. You'd be like, that's, I, you know, do that to me. Avocado.
Avocado toast is all the craze for people at breakfast time, but unfortunately, this tasty way to start the day should be avoided for the furry friends at our feet. While the reports are conflicting about the damage to canine health from avocados, it is usually best to avoid any questionable foods, especially with such abundant options for dogs in the grocery store and pet store aisles. The toxin present in avocados is known as person. In certain animals, small quantities have been known to be quite dangerous. However, luckily, when it comes to dogs, typically small amounts are unlikely to cause any negative effects. But like any toxin, the more that is eaten directly relates to an increased chance of developing side effects. Finally, avocados are an extremely high-fat food. Although this is a natural and healthy fat, dogs who are being monitored with regards to weight gain should absolutely avoid these high-calorie snacks that humans have become so enamored with. Avocado? You're supposed to let him know that's extra. At the end of the day, a little avocado is unlikely to do any serious harm to a pooch's health, but it's still one option that should be avoided with other, more flavorful, fresh treats available. I can't believe I fell for that marketing hype! Superfoods, what a scam. Onions. The trick is to undercook the onions. One of the most surprising additions to this list is probably a food that many pups have accidentally consumed at one point or another, onions. As such, a staple in many owners' diets, the onion is a base for many dishes prepared and consumed. Unfortunately for our fluffy little friends, the onion is not as much of a hero in the dog diet. In fact, a toxin in the onions that is not threatening to humans but dangerous to dogs is known as N-propyl disulfide. In a dog's body, this toxin can cause serious damage to a dog's ability to process oxygen as it clings to their red blood cells. Sadly for our canine friends, the tears that come with cutting onions isn't the only painful part about them. The good news is that in small doses, an onion is unlikely to do as much damage as some of the other foods on this list. However, they still need to be avoided. Don't put too many onions in the sauce. Onions have the ability to build up toxicity slowly in a dog's body, leading to slowly worsening symptoms, meaning it is best to stick to another snack for your loyal friend. Who really wants a puppy with stinky onion breath anyway? You know, not everybody like onions. Macadamia nuts. That's all you got me, some stupid nuts? Unlike many of the known toxins on this list, the dangerous factor in macadamia nuts has yet to be discovered. More curiously, its negative effects seem to be mostly recorded in dogs only, leaving a very strange situation for researchers to try and uncover. Whatever the cause, macadamia nuts have been recorded as creating horrible side effects on a dog's health. In the most severe of cases, intense shaking fits and entire mobility loss can also be witnessed. It's important to recognize that with macadamia nuts, the amount consumed and the size of the dog can have major effects on how the dog handles a macadamia nut mishap. Ooh, macadamia nuts. This means that smaller dogs are particularly at risk when it comes to accidental macadamia nut consumption. The most important thing to do if a dog eats something dangerous is to remain calm and take them as quickly as possible to the local veterinarian or animal hospital for assistance. When caught early, puppies have a good chance of a full recovery with proper assistance, so make sure you give your doggy lots of attention. Really like those macadamia nuts, huh? Nope. Chocolate. I love chocolate. One of the most well-known foods to keep away from dogs is one that we as humans adore more than almost any other ingredient on Earth, chocolate. While many items on this list are quite surprising in regards to their effects on dogs, chocolate is well known by many to be one of the worst things that a dog can get into. Many are probably thinking that their dogs have accidentally gotten into that hot tray of brownies on the counter or the half-eaten chocolate bar forgotten in a coat pocket and have had zero reaction. Toxicity depends on the amount of chocolate consumed and the size of the dog. Therefore, it is important to closely monitor the dog to watch for any potential side effects. Would you like some chocolate? Sure. Then you should have bought some. The level of consumed caffeine and theobromine, two chemicals found within chocolate, are to blame for the potentially disastrous consequences. Dogs are unable to process these chemicals the same way that their human companions can, meaning that they should never be given chocolate as a treat. The most common signs to look for if a dog accidentally gets into chocolate are vomiting, diarrhea, restlessness and increased agitation, high heart rate, and extreme thirst. More serious signs of toxicity 
custody include tremors and seizures, and if the owner is not vigilant to seek care immediately, the dog may face serious consequences. Always be sure to check with a veterinarian immediately if you were concerned about any possible canine chocolate chow downs at your home. Chocolate! Chocolate! Coffee. The toxic ingredient inside coffee is actually the same ingredient that humans now crave more than any other drug in the entire world. Caffeine. Caffeine fills sodas, chocolates, energy drinks, and teas, but it is most pure in its potentially most popular form, coffee itself. Although many people are practically unable to get their day started without a hot cup of joe, coffee is one of the most harmful foods that a dog can consume. Caffeine is highly toxic to dogs, as their bodies are unable to process the chemical in the same way as humans. While a dog licking up some spilled tea or coffee is unlikely to experience any serious complications, eating caffeine in its more pure forms, such as tea or coffee grounds, has the potential to cause serious issues. For smaller dogs, the risk of complications and death is heightened exponentially as their little bodies have such a difficult time processing the large amounts of caffeine. Sorry. It's piping hot. Always be sure to dispose of coffee and tea grounds immediately to keep curious pets from getting too close. The important thing to do if a puppy in the home has digested too much caffeine is to contact an emergency veterinarian. It is always better to be safe than sorry, especially when talking about man's best friend. A great trick in the mornings is to drink your coffee and fill your puppy's water bowl at the same time. This drink, I like it. I know, it's great, right? Another! <laughs> Alcohol. It's like a non-alcoholic beer. It's got no, no alcohol. Is it beer? Yeah, with no alcohol. Most of the items on this list, while harmful to dogs, are completely safe for human consumption. However, just as alcohol can cause serious damage to a person when consumed consistently or in mass quantities, the effects are even more potent on our canine companions. When consumed, the ethanol within the alcohol has the ability to cause terrible side effects such as confusion, lethargy, vomiting, diarrhea, and decreased breathing, just as can be seen with humans. When consumed in mass quantities, it has the ability to cause serious bodily harm and even death. <laughs> you win! All right, what do I win? Another beer! The size of the dog and how much alcohol consumed is a major factor in determining the effects of a boozy beverage on your best bud. This means that, as with many toxins, the smaller the breed of dog, the more susceptible it will be to potentially damaging side effects. The good news is that dogs are not naturally attracted to alcoholic beverages and typically are deterred by the smell. However, fruit beverages, in addition to sweeter and creamier beverages containing alcohol, are more likely to entice a thirsty pup looking for a sweet treat. Whether it's a romantic bottle of wine between a couple or a blaring party full of red solo cups, it's usually best to keep the alcohol out of a dog's reach in order to remain on the safe side. I mean, I found him this morning living in a storm drain. I named him Tumor because of how much he grows on you. Grapes and raisins. Okay, well, uh, my best offer is seven grapes. For all those pet owners who love sharing with their dogs, it is absolutely crucial that you listen up when we tell you about the number one item on the list. While most of the foods on this list are probably common sense, this next one is highly toxic to dogs and a regular staple in the human diet. While humans will typically avoid giving their dogs overly processed snacks, alternatively, healthy fruits and vegetables are a favorite among owners and trainers. While most fruits and vegetables can be consumed safely, grapes and raisins are one snack that must not be shared out of that giant bowl of fruit salad. Ooh, a dish of shrunken heads! Those are raisins. Despite years of research, scientists are still unaware whether the toxicity lies in the grape's skin or flesh, so it is best to just completely remove them from a dog's diet. Toxicity from raisins and grapes have been known to cause side effects such as loss of appetite, dehydration, diarrhea, lethargy, and vomiting, just to name a few. If untreated, dogs can even experience kidney failure, which can result in deaths in the most extreme circumstances. While this is the most dire of cases, anything this toxic to man's best friend should be avoided at all costs. Next time, skip out on any grapes and instead throw your furry friend a blueberry. A whole big box of raisins, boys. Treat yourself to more great videos and tap that screen. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.